being different. Once upon a time, in a vast jungle, there lived a crocodile named Leaf. Leaf was different from the other crocodiles in the jungle. He was not like the other crocodiles who were aggressive and liked to attack travelers who passed through the jungle. Instead, Leaf was known to be kind and well-mannered. He would help travelers who got lost in the jungle and guide them back to the right path. He was kind to all the animals and creatures around him, so when traveling in the jungle, you may still hear some stories about the noble crocodile who lived many years ago. One day, a group of travelers passed through the jungle. They were on their way to the other side of the jungle, but they got lost. The tropical heat was intense, and they quickly became thirsty. They had to find water to survive. They also had to find food, as they had not brought enough with them. They discovered some fruits and nuts, but they also had to be careful not to eat anything that could be poisonous. In the tropical jungle, not all plants and fruit are edible. Did you know that? So suddenly, Leaf appeared in front of the travelers and offered to help. At first, the travelers were afraid, but then they saw how kind and well-mannered Leaf was, and they began to trust him. Leaf showed them a clear spring of water and explained which foods were safe to eat. The travelers then followed Leaf as he showed them the way through the jungle. Another day, a bunch of little monkeys were lost in the jungle. They were frightened and didn't know which way to turn. Leaf heard their cries for help and went to find them. They were wandering around aimlessly, trying to find their way back home. At first, the monkeys were frightened of the crocodile and refused to come near him. They had always been taught that crocodiles were dangerous predators, and they feared that he might harm them. But the crocodile was patient and understanding, and he knew that he needed to earn their trust if he was going to help them. He had a kind face and a warm smile, but the monkeys were scared anyway and tried to run away each time. The crocodile didn't want to give up on the little monkeys, so he tried to come up with a plan to get them to trust him. He began to show them acts of kindness, first saving them from a python snake and then bringing them ripe fruits. As they ate, the crocodile chatted with them, telling them stories of his own family and how he loved to help other creatures in need. Gradually, the monkeys began to feel more comfortable around him, and they started to see that he was a kind and caring friend. He led the monkeys safely back to their tribe and even showed them a secret path that was short and easy to follow. The monkeys were so grateful to Leaf, and when they grew up, they always kept a watchful eye on him and would warn him of any danger. Another time, a small bird had fallen from its nest and was injured. Leaf saw the bird and knew it needed help. He carefully lifted the bird in his mouth and brought it to a nearby stream where there was plenty of food and water. He found a tasty, sweet seed and put it into the bird's mouth. Leaf stayed with the bird, keeping it warm and protected until it was strong enough to fly back to its nest. The bird never forgot Leaf's kindness and would often come to visit him, bringing along a few of its bird friends. Another interesting story happened when Leaf came across a family of otters who were in trouble. They had become trapped in a net that was meant for catching fish. Being trapped for a while, they could soon die without food. Leaf knew that he had to act fast if he wanted to save the otters, so he swam over to the net and began to chew through the ropes. It took a while, but eventually Leaf managed to free all the otters in time. The family of otters were so grateful that they hugged Leaf and thanked him for his help. They told Leaf that he was the kindest crocodile they had ever met and that they would never forget his kindness. Leaf was loved and respected by all who knew him. They would say that Leaf was a true gentleman and that he was a true example of what it means to be kind and well-mannered. The moral of the story is that it is not so important where you come from, but it is important who you really want to be. If you choose to be kind, then the kindness in your eyes 
will always tell who you really are. If a crocodile can become friendly and caring, then any person could do it too.